I've been Colby Knight. Y'all have been a lot of fun. We're going to bring up a very funny man by the name of John Rodermacher. Okay. All right. You doing that thing? I am doing that thing. Well, hold on. Hold on for a second. Let me get out of the way. You just stay right there. You'll just be in the background of the I don't YouTube video. Be Smoking crack, doing whatever you're doing. I don't do crack. I eat mushrooms a whole lot. You got drugs on the YouTube channel. No, awesome. Really cool. I love, love, love being an exhibit A. <laughs> uh, so you guys are stand-up comedians. Yes, yes sir. Uh, first off, what's your name? Colby Knight. And uh, yours? Uh, John Rodemacher. Uh John, you and I both started comedy the exact same night. We did. Uh, I have since uh, realized that comedy is not for me. Uh, musical theater is more my thing. That's that's awesome. You're still doing comedy. Though. Yes, sadly. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Uh, I, I like it despite its many tries to not like me. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know. It's just I found the thing that like I think I, I could do for a while, so I think I'm going to stick with it. You actually gave me, you were my first paid show, remember that? Uh, is that a pro Renata? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, guys. Me too. Yeah, I remember that very well. I paid both of you to do comedy? Oh, yes. yes. You paid me to do 25 minutes, three months into comedy during a hurricane to two people. Oh, yeah, I was listening a year in, and you were like, Just, can you do 15? I'm like, I guess, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Somebody said, if you want to do some comedy and you do more, run a show. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I run a show. Uh, didn't last long. Nope. What does it take to be a comedian, either of you? It takes a certain amount of masochism. You know, you have to hate yourself just enough to be willing to put yourself through a horrendous rejection night after night after night and still want to do it. I don't know if, I don't know if hate yourself is the right word, but you, you just got to be used to rejection. Mm. Like, just, just used to just, just failing, pretty much. If you can get used to that, then you can make it. Do you learn more on the nights where things are not going well or on the nights when jokes are working? More often than not, probably the nights where, like, you're not doing well. Because, at least in the moment, you may not realize, but afterwards you realize, oh, I didn't say this joke right, or I made it, the tone was off, or, like, I didn't read the room correctly. Yeah, like, the, the failure is a good way to learn, like, what you're doing wrong. As opposed to, like, if you're crushing, you're just saying, oh, I'm, nothing needs to change, I'm doing great. I feel like I disagree with that. I feel like the times I don't do well, there's about 18,000 ways to do a joke wrong. Awesome. There might only be one way to do it right. I feel like you learn more about building character and fortitude on the bad nights, but on the good nights, you have actual takeaways of, oh, this is how I do this. That's the way I look at yeah, it. You find out what works, and yeah. then you can repeat. Exactly. Right? You find out what to repeat. Exactly. But, and how to repeat it. That's the important part. Yeah. You do have a point, just because like, there are definitely times where, like, I've said a joke the exact same way two nights in a row, and it will just not work for no reason. If that's within my control, the second night, and you just gotta figure out, like, okay, is that me, or is that just like the audience or something, or is it just like I don't know what? Yeah, yeah. I just don't like it when medical professionals do it. Like I was getting blood drawn the other day, and as the nurse pulled the IV out, she goes, "Ooh, someone's a squirter." <laughs> There's so many factors. It could be the people who went up before you, how they did. It could yeah. be, did you start that joke off fresh or did you have something before it? Because a lot of times, if they don't know who you are, a certain joke might not hit. But if they have, they're familiar with you, you can venture out into riskier territory. Yeah, there are definitely jokes where like you know you gotta like you gotta get them on your side before you do like some weirder or more like riskier stuff. Mm. So that definitely could have been it. And also just like, I don't know, like maybe sometimes they're just not like... Sometimes you just don't find it funny. And if yeah. you can't convince yourself that it's funny, you can't convince anybody else that it's funny. That's yeah. what I find. Yeah. Or like you get in a rhythm where like, because part of the like thing you have to learn is like, you got to say the joke like it's new every single time. You can't get used to just like, just like reading it like it's on a teleprompter or something. Yeah. Anybody else raised religious in here? Anybody? Okay, so like, here's the thing. Like, I was raised like white evangelical non-denominational Christian, and I feel like it's important to mention because I'll talk about being raised religious, and people are like, "Oh yeah, I was raised Catholic," and I'm like, "No, no, no. There's a difference. You guys believe that dinosaurs existed, okay? I'm talking about a whole other thing entirely. We had like like other Christians have like their church music. We had like Christian rock, which was a little bit different. And the problem is, is growing up listening to that, I can't listen to other music because the stakes just aren't there anymore. You know what I mean? Like, everything is about, like, eternity. And, like, there's this song about the rapture, you know, when all the Christians are taken away and everyone else has to deal with a bunch of suffering. And these are the lyrics of the song. The father spoke, the demons died. How could you have been so blind? There's no time to change your mind. The sun has come and you've been left behind. Yeah. 
All right, now, 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 what is everyone else listening to? And the player's gonna play, 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 play. I can't listen to music, it ruined me forever. Audiences deserve good credit. They got the good nose for ingenuity. In Disingenuity. Disingenuity. Yeah, something like I don't that. Know, is that yeah. a word? Close enough. It's it is wild. You're the teacher, tell me, is that a word? I'm not an English teacher. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a word in There's German? probably a German word for it. Oh, there definitely is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it is weird how like you can learn like there are ways to manipulate an audience like pretty subtly without them realizing it, but they will sniff out bullshit so goddamn fast. Yep. Like it's it's kind of amazing. So if you're like not going up there, not being in, like if you're very very disingenuous and yeah, they'll just they'll not laugh at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired. Uh, I'm a I'm a high school teacher. That's what I do during the day. Uh, yeah, so I'm a high school teacher who does stand up comedy, and which is a fun way to disappoint both my parents at the exact same time. How does comedy play into your life as far as it relating to your day job as a teacher? As a teacher, uh, it's. First off, how long have you been teaching? This is my so I was a substitute teacher last school year. Okay. And this year is my first official year teaching. So like I have my own classes, I'm doing grades and everything. Yeah. And so that last year and this year, it's weird just because like especially this year because like the students all found my Instagram, <laughs> which is where I post shows about shows and stuff. Uh -huh. And like it has to be public, so they have they kind of they get to see it. Yeah. I I can't make it a private account because that's to be able to promote stuff. So like I just have to be very careful about like what I say or what I get tagged in at everything because like I asked my print the principal of the school and she goes yeah like don't say where you work don't use a kid's name in a story and like whatever you if you post like a clip it can't affect the day job like it cannot affect school but like kids are now always asking like, where's your next show gonna be I'm gonna come to your next show so I'm like kind of post one of them having a show in town <laughs> like I don't because I told them all like if you're 18 you can come but like I don't know like who's gonna convince their parents to drop them off here right and then if that happens I'm like do I tell my the jokes about my sex life or do I do I change it so yeah I'm I'm figuring out how that's uh, still figuring it uh, out yeah I'm, I'm still, tightrope for you it it really is like if I'm on a podcast like I'm like what did I say can I share a clip if I get tagged in it or yeah. like do I yeah because he's already found like interviews I've been on, and like I, so I was like, F "What did I say in that?" Like uh -huh. just yeah. Now, will the school hold you accountable for stuff that you did before you were employed there? Uh, probably not. Okay. Probably not. But like, I think anything now, like I just have to like kind of just be careful what I say and just like, like she like my president would say like just like if you post a clip like bleep whenever you curse, and uh -huh. like I think she, like she kind of implied like just don't get too vulgar in a way that the students are never going to be talking about constantly in school. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, I just have to like be selective with clips I want to put up. So I filmed your set tonight, and I was well, I will not post it unless I have your permission. I'd I, rather you I, not because it was I all about all it was that. all about school, and like that was a new joke about something that happened in class, and I'm kind of processing still. Got it. So if I post anything, it'll just be like the introduction or something like that. That's with fine. No material. Yeah. What about you, Colby? Can I post your stuff? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yep. This doesn't affect your day job at all. Uh, limo driving? No, it does not. <laughs> What's happening in there? I don't. I, I don't know. Uh, I just heard so much shout trying to figure out who the hell that was. Oh, I think it's, it's, it's night, is, Nightmare is, Alley. This is a bit. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit. <laughs> you, like, so, saying, if it, is it a bit or someone like having a meltdown on stage? Right. We've had a couple of times when there's we've, been some fights. We've, yeah, we've, fights? So oh, dude, oh, yeah, a dude tried here. to fight Chris once. I was kind of hoping something like that would happen tonight. Uh, uh, but, I, I hope not, because I don't want the, yeah. Yeah, so this guy was like stumbling drunk, could not get a word out. And was like spilling his drink, and Chris is making fun of him, and then he starts getting real, real upset with Chris, and like, yeah. I mean, people had to physically restrain him. <laughs> it almost got wow. very, very ugly. Yeah, 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 like it was fine at first, and then like out of nowhere, the dude just got so, so mad at Chris, like just kind of out of nowhere. And to me, the funniest part, like people from the crowd started to try to get this guy away. And there's this like <laughs> tall, like built Middle Eastern dude. He just out of nowhere jumped up, tried to be, act like a bouncer, and he turned his back to the rest of us, and it just said UVA Ballroom Dancing Club. <laughs> and meanwhile, this guy's like the biggest dude in the room besides Chris, and he's like restraining this drunk guy. Okay. And we're just all comedians are like, all right, I guess he can handle it. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. Big badass ballroom dancer deal. With yeah. So oh, yeah. don't 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 fuck with dancers, man. Don't. <laughs> You know, those dudes are in shape. Yeah, you they, can dance. Well, I know what it takes to dance. Oh yeah, I like I know. Like I've met I've known like ballerinas. Like they're they have a more muscle than you think. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was a weird one. Cool. Thank you guys. Thank them. Alright, thank you.